Hi guys. So today we're doing this Manny here, um, my hand painted roses. This is one a sample I already finished um, to show you on a bigger nail. Um, and this is on the pink. So on these ones here, I have, I did this gel polish. Uh, it's kind of a sheer, you know, like you'd use for French um, on those center two ones. And then this one is Baby Doll, and Baby Doll is on the this one and the pinky. And Baby Doll is what I used also on this one right here uh, today. Um, and I used Marshmallow on this one here, on the white one, because uh, I was trying to make it so, you know, you'd be able to see it, hopefully, as well as possible with my setup. It's not ideal for hand painting. So we're gonna go ahead and do it on the marshmallow today. Now on this one here, um, I just did the background, you know, the base of the flowers to show you. And so, um, and then there's the one with the detail on it. So I'm gonna do it the best I can because I have to do it, you know, upside down, backwards, whatever. But anyway, so we're just using the craft paints. Um, mostly I have a ceram coat and accent I'm using. Um, you know, not very expensive at all. We're going to start out with kind of a hot pink um, for our first flower. And kind of like a roundish, I mean, you can do it, you know, however you want. Um, but a roundish or, oh, and you want a tile or something too and a little cup of water. But we're just going to start out and we're going to do a i got to remember to hold this up, don't I? Yep, I do. All right, anyway, we're just going to do kind of like a roundish, cloudish kind of thing. Um, you know, and the hot pink. Doesn't have to be perfect. I know they say that all the time. You know, however you want it to be. I think I want it to have a little more, maybe a little more shape there. Okay? So you just clean off your brush and then next we're going to do the red one. Um, so I will put the names of all the paints um, that I use, you know, and everything I use in the information box. So we're going to put our next uh, flower right down about here and do the same thing, you know, whatever kind of shape you want. Try to keep it as roundish, you know, as you can. I think I need some more paint. Um, oops, sorry. Oh, this is challenging doing this upside down, but that's okay. Hopefully someday I'll get a better setup for hand painting. Okay. There we go. Okay. So really, it's pretty easy. Um, the details really make it, um, you know. So next we're going to do this light pink. Um, and really you can use any colors you want for your roses, but that's what I did on mine. And I did it sort of in a triangle-ish. Um, okay, so let's turn it over here and we'll do it like here. And if it gets too thick, you can add a little bit of water, you know. Um, this pink one seems like it is a little bit thicker. So I'm going to try and add some some water to it and, and get my shape over here. I'm making it a little bit rounder than I want, so I'm going to bring it out a little bit. But I mean, if you like them round, you can do your roses round too, you know. But, uh, you know, however you like it the best. So I think I'm going to add it, make it come out a little bit different shape somewhere. I gotta look at this a second, sorry. Okay, that's good. So we've got our three different colors for our base flowers there. And next we're gonna go back to the hot pink and we're gonna do our little our little buds, like in this one. See our little buds down here? So we've got our three bases up here uh, done. And I did them a little further apart, maybe a little too far apart, dang it, but that's okay. Anyway, and we're going to do those two buds right now in the hot pink. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's just sort of a tear shape, you know. 
so. Oh, I hope you can see what I'm doing. It's kind of a tear shape. And you know, you're gonna have to downsize this some, like this is a thumbnail. I did it on a bigger nail so you could see, hopefully. And then I'm gonna do another little bud right about here. Okay. And I want that a little more roundy at the bottom. Just a little bit more. Okay. It's gonna, it's amazing what a difference the detail can make. So that's it on our hot pink. And then now we're gonna do our leaves and I'm using kind of an apple green for the leaves. And we're just gonna do, you know, however you like your shape, you can do it in, you know, a typical leaf shape or you can do them skinnier and give them a little bit of a curve to them. So we're doing one up here. Let's see. So let me see up here so I don't mess up my picture, hopefully. Oops, I got a little bit there. Okay, and I'm just doing two leaves on each one because we're having a vine come from it, which gives it, you know, that odd number, you know, looking, if you'll see what I mean, hopefully. Okay, so I'm gonna add, uh, I'm gonna add a leaf about, oh gosh, I don't know, about here. Okay, I'm gonna do that on all the big roses. And you wanna put your leaves right about where I am because you're gonna have your vine to connect all the flowers. And you don't want, you know, you don't want that in the, the way. So you have to kind of, okay, let's see. So we need to do one this way. Like that. Okay. Try to keep it off your flower if you can, but if you do it quick enough, you can wipe, you know, wipe it off with your finger. Okay, so now we're gonna do we're down on this red one, we need some leaves too. And since I kind of put it in a different spot, I think I'm gonna do, or I'm, yeah, I put a little lower than I did on my nails and on my sample. But anyway, we're just gonna do another little leaf here. And we're gonna do another little leaf off of this way. Okay, wait a minute. You can dab on your tile if you get too much paint, you know, on your brush. Just dab it off on your tile. Okay, and then next we want to do these like little tendril leaves coming out from our, our uh, you know, buds. So, see and so you can see. So it's going to come out from the bud okay, like that. And then on the other side, same thing. There we go. And then we'll do the other bud too. So we'll take it from here, go there, and like that. Okay. And then next, we want to do our vine. So we're going to connect our flowers first. Um, we're going to connect it like, and you can do it kind of, you know, squiggly or as thin as thick as you want to. Um, so let's see, I'm going to do it to that one, to that one. Okay. And then we're going to do it from this one, from this hot pink one down to the red one. Give it a sec. I got to get some more paint on here. All right. So we're going to go from here and do a squiggle down to the red one. Okay. And then we're going to do a long kind of squiggly line from our hot pink one down the side of our hot pink one. And we're going to come all the way down here and connect it to that first bud. So we're going to go from here, squiggle, squiggle, oops, sorry, squiggle, squiggle. And then we're going to connect it. So see where my squiggly line's going down here? 
we're going to connect it down to here, up the middle of that little bud right there. So like that. And you're going to do a better job, and so do I when I'm looking at it, you know, the right direction. Okay, so anyway, and then next we're going to take it from the bottom of this bud and take it to the bottom of that bud, the rest of our little vine. So hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing here. I sure hope so. Let me see. All right. So let's try and go from here and over there. Okay. See where I connected those two? So there's our vines. Okay. And that's all the base stuff, just like I had on, you know, on this one here. And now we're going to add all this detail stuff, like on this one here. Okay. All right. So next, what we're going to do is we want to use contrasting colors, like on our roses. And so we're going to do the hot pink. Um, well, actually, I'm going to start with the red. We're going to do the red. And on our hot pink one, we're going to do the little lines, you know, to make it look like a rose. So I'm just going to grab some paint, you know, wipe off the excess and make, try, you can make either like a little C in the center or, and this one's going to be harder for you to see, sorry, because there's not as much contrast with this. Um, or you can make a C with a dot, you know, however you want to do it. And then you just do like a like a curved line, like just, a, you know, it's going to be broken. You're not going to do a continuous, oops, sorry. You're not going to do a continuous line. You're just going to do like, there's a line, then kind of another curved line. And then we have one more, talk on it, sorry. We have one more that we need to do right over Right over here. And when you're looking at it straight on, you'll be able to get those lines, you know, more perfect and and more, um, yeah, that wasn't as good. That's okay. It'll be pretty when it's all done. So I, there's something about art, you know, that I think that sometimes the more, like a little imperfect perfect is good. Okay, so next we're going to go and we're going to do the light pink on the red one. You know, just like we did our light pink flower, we're using the same, same thing. Okay, and we're going to start out the same way. We're just going to do a little, we're going to do like a little C, you know, in it. And when I can see it better, I can do it a better looking C. But anyway, this is the way it's going to be. So we're just going to do a little line and then another little curved line. And another little curved line. Okay. And if, you know, you'll be able to do them thinner. If you like them thicker or thinner, however you like doing them. But, um, okay, let me see if I need another line somewhere. So maybe just a little bit. Another one. Right there. Okay, and these are a little heavier than, you know, I did on mine. Mine, you know, are finer, but like I said, you know, it's part of it's the direction we're doing. It doesn't really matter. I think it looks good either way, whether they're thin or they're thick. All right, so next we're going to do on our light one here, we're doing the hot pink. Yep, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're doing the hot pink on this light pink one. Okay. Okay, so just grab some, dab off your excess on your little tile. Again, we're going to do a little C. I'm going to try and do it and so you can see it too. Okay, and you can put a little dot here too if you want to, you know, next to your C if you have enough room. Um, going to be tricky for you to see it and me to see it, but anyway, if you want, you can do that, so it's, okay, i got to show you, I'll have to do it this way to show you, okay, 
Anyway, let's just do our lines now um, around the rows, around this little C thing. Okay, so we're going to do our lines. Um, okay, let me see if I can do it. I don't know if this will help you or not. Okay. And I don't think that's going to help. I tried. Okay, but that's all right. We're just going to do it. Another, you know, line around it. Just keep doing your little broken curved lines around it. Oops. And then... There you go. See? All right, so now we're gonna do the leaves. We're gonna add detail to the leaves and also to, actually, let's go ahead and do the buds. We'll do that and then we'll go to the leaves. So on the, on the buds down here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of that light pink because our buds are hot pink. And I'm just gonna do a little line, like a little, line right there and also same thing on this one you know it just gives it a little little something you know um, and so now we're going to do our leaves so um, on our leaves we're going to do a turquoise and so let me just wipe off the excess and all we're going to do is we're just going to do a line, just a line down our leaves. So like just a little line on each of our little, okay, let's see, on each of our little leaves. So let's go this way so you can see that leaf better, hopefully. Wait a minute, I got to see it now. Oh boy. Okay. Anyway, just a line, see, a line, a line, and then on this one up here, same thing, just doing a line, wipe off the excess, and you can't see that line very good, so I'm going to do another one. There we go, and another line here, okay, um, and then let me see down here. So we're going to do the other ones too. So all the leaves, we're just going to do a little turquoise line down, you know, half of it. So just a little line. Just a little line. All these. Okay. And let's see, did I miss any? Okay, and then so the next, yeah, I did I missed one over here. There we go. So there's there's all of them, and you know you can do your line finer. I usually do, but next we want to do these little tendrils down here too, and just add a little bit of turquoise to them. Okay, just a little makes it a little more interesting turquoise to those little tendrils down there. All right, let's see. So, I don't know. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Let me do it over here to this one too. And to that one too. Okay, so now we got them all. The turquoise and all of our leaves. So the only thing else is we're just going to do a dark green to give it, you know, a little more contrast and interest. So we're just going to go along our leaves and along our vine with this dark green. So just get some and then wipe off the excess with your brush. Um, and so we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to go a line right next to the turquoise on those leaves. And if you can do it thinner, you know, great. So there we go. And then Let's see, I don't know if I can see it and you can see it, but we can try. Okay, and then all the leaves we're going to do that with. Uh, 
Okay. And wait a minute, let's try it this way. I'm gonna see it too though. That's what makes it tough <laughs> doing this. Okay. So next we're just gonna continue down with the rest of our leaves and put you know green dark green along in the opposite side of the turquoise line. Oops, and let's see, I gotta look for a second. Okay, now we're just gonna do the dark green on our tendrils. Two. Okay, both of them. Okay. All right, and now the last thing is to put, go down our vine. So we're gonna just go along our vine, a little green line, and all, where all the flowers are connected, do that. I'm gonna do our long one, you know, that we have along here. Okay, wait a sec. Okay, this is not. All right, anyway, you get the idea. So we're gonna do this one. It has to come down here, just like we did before. Just follow that apple green, you know, vine line. And then down here, just like we did before. Follow that one over to here. Okay, now that's heavier than I usually do it, but it looks good either way. So you do it as thin or as thick as you like it, you know, however much you want it to show up. Um, and so next I would just do a top coat over it, let it dry a few minutes, do a top coat over it. You can do um, Bundle Monsters by Maniology Smudge Free, you know, if you're using regular polishes. If you're using a gel polish, then you can do, you know, true gel or whichever gel polish you like, do a top coat over it, set it under your LED light. If you want it matte, you know, Jalish has got a good matte top it off, top coat, you can put that over it. And so basically, you know, that's, that's all you have to do. I'm gonna go ahead and do a coat of the smudge free over it. You don't have to, actually, you don't have to do the smudge free on, you know, the acrylic paint. Um, you could do like, you know, out the door or whatever your favorite top coat is, um, you know, over it. So just do, you know, oops, a little bit too much. Swipe it over it. And there you go. That's it. So have fun doing this. It really is easy and it's a lot of fun and it turns out so pretty. So anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and click on the bell icon um, so that you'll get a notice on my next new videos, which will be really soon. I'm going to be doing a review. Thank you. Bye, guys.